How much does this green coffee seed cost? And why does a pound of this coffee seed cost approximately the same as one tiny cup of coffee? Let's explore the economics of coffee. So how much does this green coffee seed cost? The price depends on the type of seed, country of origin, cooperative rules, demand, and the ICO composite, which serves as a global benchmark. Live pricing can be elusive. Updated ICO composite data isn't easily accessible to smallholder producers nor the public. Such pricing practices, often out of public view, mean that farmers around the world have historically been at a disadvantage. That is likely an understatement. As of June of this year, the ICO composite was at $1.73. That's approximately $228 for a 60 kilogram bag, the standard trading unit, with 300 of these in the average shipping container. If we sidestep over to stories of innovation and business endeavors, Brazil, as the largest green coffee seed exporter in the world, owes much of its success to Francisco de Melo Paleta, who smuggled coffee seeds from French Guiana during a border dispute in 1727. The French had withheld their coffee seeds to maintain a regional monopoly. The smuggled seeds and the subsequent trees that abound in Brazil and around the world today produce this fruit, Cafea tree droop, commonly known as coffee cherry because it looks like a cherry. The process from growing to harvesting takes up less than 10% of what the average consumer will end up paying. Much of the value and taste actually emerge in the roasting stage. Roasting can either amplify or diminish quality to the end consumer. Quality roasting is based on experience, understanding various droop seed origin, region, altitude, and other conditions. About 20% of your coffee cup's price is added here, where the seeds turn brown and enlarge. And now we have coffee beans that are really roasted seeds that look like beans. Then there's distribution. Once we arrive at the retail phase, consumers pay two to three dollars per cup, an amount that could buy a pound of green seeds. The largest costs are real estate and overhead. Using give flag, we find that Starbucks, a company that controls much of its own supply chain, debt and reliance on intangibles, brand and real estate are key concerns. A successful coffee company and astute financial engineering capabilities may go hand in hand. It may not be a coincidence that Lloyd's, one of the largest reinsurance companies in the world, originated as a coffee shop. Additionally, with regards to intangibles and overhead, marketing plays a critical role. Brand innovations abound, from coffee beers from Drip Drop to coffee pods from Nespresso. The stories that consumers drink may play as much a part as the social and physiological outcomes. Stay tuned for more financial adventures.